Hello, yes, a message to Nick Griffin. We stand and fight, part two. I make a second video in response to messages of support and encouragement I've received after making yesterday's video. People can see hope. They don't want defeatist talk. They want hope and salvation. And it's still there, right? They don't want this defeatist talk, even if it's... Uh, realistic and uh, you know it, it's fact it's not fact it's nonsense right it, it we're still the majority in this country how is it all over the demographic disaster that's on its way the third world how breeds us how populates us colonizes us yeah and whatever else that may be 20 30 40 years away we don't know none of us know what's going to happen especially after brexit if it's delivered or whatever, no one knows what's around that corner. No one can plan, no one's got the crystal ball. Who would have thought 17.4 million people would have voted to leave the European Union? I was shocked when I got up that morning. But look, there's something else that happened that, you know, surprised all of us. And there's many more surprises as well along the way, I'm sure there are. So let's stop all this nonsense that it's over there's no political solution i don't know what solution it will take to take back our country whether or not it's a political one or any other one but what i do know it's not all over and we haven't lost this far from it it's only just beginning two books on my left there one's by former american president teddy roosevelt winning of the west volume two the other one is a biography on uh, Lewis Wetzel. Now, there's two characters that stand out in both books. Is a Simon Kenton, a frontiersman, Indian fighter. He was of Scottish and Welsh ancestry. One of ours, yes. Lewis Wetzel was of German ancestry. Now, those two amazing, courageous individuals found themselves in sticky situations more than once twice three times where they were captured by indians ready for torture and to be slaughtered and what did they do they fought back and escaped returned and killed more indians they didn't give up or quit and we're not going to quit we've got to go back into burnley and win them council seats back back into blackburn and win council seats there as well as oldham and everywhere else keatley rotherham Halifax, all over the country, we can do this, right? Our enemies know we can. You, Nick Griffin, with your defeatist nonsense, is shameful, right? It literally is shameful, right? We stand and fight no matter what, right? Even if it is all lost, I'm standing and I'm fighting, I'm going nowhere, right? Instead of you, with your stupid nonsense, reconquista. We, uh, with all these uh, racially aware white nationalists have children and they carry on and carry on. And a hundred years time, there'll be enough white people to take back our, our lands. That's just a load of nonsense. If we can't do it now while the majority, we're not doing it when we're 1%, are we? Well, exactly. It's a cop out. It's an excuse for failure, right? What, you, what you're advocating, Nick Griffin, is nothing less than treachery. Trust me, it is. It's cowardice at the very least, right? You're demoralising people with this. Oh, it's the truth. It's realistic. It's not realistic. None of it is. Because none of us knows what's around that corner. None of us do. Right, so let's get back in there. Right, remember them two brave, courageous Indian fighters. Simon Kenton and Lewis Wetzel. Well, we've got plenty of fighters left here. And plenty of fight left in us. So come on, we stand and fight. Okay, thank you.